What's up you guys, my name's Brent Tai and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking all things layer shot and why people layer shot. We're going to make a two layer shot and a three layer shot towards the end of the video. Now I can in fact make a seven layer shot, so if that's something you guys want to see, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. That being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, so why do people layer shots? Now there's a big misconception that people only layer shots, it's because they look cool, then people can take pictures, post them on Instagram, tag your bar, you get tips, you get more revenue, that sort of thing. Now. That does have a small part to play in why people layer shots, because obviously they do look quite cool when you do them right. But there is two other reasons that you layer shots, and the first one is probably the most important one, and that is the flavour profile. So today we're going to make a Bazooka Joe and just a standard two layer shot as well. But for the Bazooka Joe, it's blue curacao, it's Irish cream, and it's creme de banana. Now the reason that this is layered is because it gives you three different flavour profiles. As opposed to mixing it all together, you knock it back, you've got one taste, it's maybe not as nice. Whereas if you do it on the layers, you know, you've got the blue curacao first, you've got that taste of the blue curacao, then you're going into the Irish cream, so you can't believe the crossover between the blue curacao and the Irish cream, and then you get the full Irish cream flavour, and then you get a crossover of the banana and Irish cream flavour, and then you get the full banana flavour. So you kind of have a sense of getting five different flavour profiles from a three layer shot. That's why you layer shots, because you get different flavours from different things, and it's really nice as opposed to just chuck it in a shaker, dry shaking it, and then pouring it out. It's like, well, you know, what's the point in that? Make it layered, make it taste different, give it loads of different flavour profiles to it. And as for the second reason that people layer shots, it's because it has a different strength taste to it. So if you imagine you had a shot with absinthe, 151, um, so we'll go with Irish cream, and then we'll go with grenadine on the bottom. Um, so that shot, if you mix that all together, when you knock that back, all you're going to taste is either the Absinthe or the Bacardi 151 because they're potent as hell. Whereas if you layer a small bit on top and then layer it down, you'll hit the Absinthe, you'll hit the 151, you'll then hit the Irish Cream and you'll finish on the Grenadine. So that taste in your mouth at the end, all you're going to have is that sweet taste of the Grenadine, which is not alcoholic as well. It does obviously work for other things, you have a creme de menthe on the bottom, you have creme de banana. There's more sugar in the alcohol which makes it more dense, which is why it sits on the bottom. So it's easier to knock back stronger shots or shots with absinthe or 151 uh, or Everclear in it because obviously they sit on the top, you get them out of the way first and then you get onto the nice taste and stuff. Okay, so now we've discussed some layer shots. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a two layer shot and a three layer shot. Right, first up is a two layer shot, nice and easy to make. We're going to make just a simple creme de menthe and then Irish cream shot. So get your creme de menthe and just pour it into the bottom of the glass. Halfway up will do. So, get what you're laying on. Obviously, it's Irish cream for this. Now, I am going to do it left handed because I am left handed, but I'm going to pour right handed. That makes any sense. I usually pour left handed, but I'm going to pour right handed because it's easier to hold the spoon in your dominant hand and pop it just on the layer. Get your Irish cream. Now, it's easier if you pour out a pourer because you can control the pour nice and slow and you just want to pour it slowly onto the spoon and slowly bring your spoon up so you're constantly pouring onto the spoon. There we go. Really nice and easy, clear definition of two layers. Okay, now for a three layer shot. Now we are gonna change it. I was gonna make a Bazooka Joe, but I have not enough Baileys left because I used it for that two layer shot. But not to worry, we're gonna make it a nice and even easier one. We're gonna start with a base of grenadine on the bottom. Now as I say, grenadine is non-alcoholic and it will always sit on the bottom because all it is is sugar and fruit and water basically. So after we've added that, we're then gonna put on our banana liqueur on top of this. Same as we've already done with the first layer. Put your spoon in, lean against the edge and pour nice and slowly with your second ingredient. Controlling it nice and slowly. Slowly bring that up. There we are. Now this might be difficult to pick up on camera but you can see obviously the different layer separation there. And then on top of that we're going to add our blue curacao on top of here. So, same as we've just done, again, put our spoon in, lean it on the liquid nice and carefully, and slowly pour our blue curacao. There we are, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick us up, but you've got the red there. You get the yellow in the middle because it's obviously quite clear you can't really see much of a separation but it is there and then we've got the blue curacao on top so three layer shot two layer shot nice and easy really nice and simple make sure you try this at home right so that's why we layer shots and that's how to layer some basic simple two layer and three layer shots now 
A few things I want to talk about if you are layering shots. Obviously, you want to look out for the density or the sugar content. A good rule to go by is the lower percentage of alcohol in the drink, then the more chance it is going to sit on the bottom. Now, that's not always a guarantee. There is charts that you can look on online that tells you different density, but every brand's different, so it varies depending on what brand of, of alcohol you're using. But that being said, you guys probably want to see me do both of these. Now, I'm not going to do both because I have to drive in two hours' time, which means I can only do one. So, we're going to do any mini, mini, mo. Catch a ticket by the toe. If it's good, let it go. Any mini, mini, mo. We're going to do the three layer shot. So, cheers, guys. That is not that nice because I don't like banana liqueur. I don't know why I didn't do that one. Like, I don't like banana liqueur. I don't like bananas. Like, you guys should know that by now. But, yeah, that's layered shots. But that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to drop a like critique. It'd be much the I'm greatly appreciated. If you guys are new on here as well, please make sure you click that button to subscribe. Make sure you click the bell as well to join the notification squad. As I said at the start, if you guys want to see me do a seven layer shot, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to check any of my social media, links to them will be in the description. On that, guys, until next time, I've been the Prince Eye, and I'll see you in the next one.